in this question we have to prove that the four conditions are equivalent that is a subset of b is equivalent to a minus b is empty set and a union b is equal to b and a intersection b is equal to a like most of the questions there are two ways to show that these four conditions are equivalent first one is through venn diagram so if i draw venn diagram corresponding to first condition that is a subset of b then i get these venn diagrams because the circle corresponding to set a will lie completely inside circle corresponding to b now if a subset of b then every element of a will also be there in b so a minus b will obviously be an empty set now if a lies completely inside b then a union b will be same as the set b so a union b will be equals to b and if i take intersection of a and b then i will only be left with set a so that will be equals to set a so doing it using venn diagram is very easy next we will do using mathematical proof and i'll prove that first implies second first implies third and first implies fourth so first i'll prove that statement or condition 1 implies condition 2 so in this case what we are given is a is subset of b and we have to prove a minus b is empty set so to proceed for this because a is subset of b if x belongs to a then x belongs to b therefore there is no x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b therefore a minus b is empty set because a minus b is set consisting of elements that belong to a sorry that belong to a but they do not belong to b next i'll prove first implies third that is we are given a is subset of b and we want to prove a union b is equals to b and as we know to prove that two sets are equal we have to prove two cases first and second first is a union b is subset of b and b is subset of a union b now i'll prove the first case first that is a union b is subset of b so i'll assume say say this some x that belongs to a union b now because x belongs to a union b x belongs to a or x belongs to b in both the cases x will end up belonging to b because if x belongs to a then we know that a is subset of b so x will also belong to b and if it belongs to b then it belongs to b so in this case from here we can conclude that x will belong to b implies a union b will be subset of b now second case b is subset of a union b this is obvious because say x belongs to b and from this i can easily conclude that x will belong to a union b so from 1 and 2 we conclude that a union b is equals to b so this one is proved 
next i'll prove first implies fourth so first implies fourth here we are given that a is subset of p and we want to prove a intersection b is equals to a and same as previous case because we want to prove the two sets are equal we have to prove two cases first a intersection b we have to prove a intersection b is subset of a and a is subset of a intersection b so to prove the first statement we say x belongs to a intersection b from this it is obvious that x will also belong to a because then only it will belong to a intersection b so this is straightforward you can say a intersection b will be subset of a now second statement a is subset of a intersection b so we assume say there is some x that belongs to a now this x may or may not belong to b but because in general but because we know that a is subset of b so this will imply that x will belong to b and this i can say because a is subset of b so now x belongs to a and x belongs to b so from that i can conclude x will belong to a intersection b that implies a is subset of a intersection b and from 1 and 2 i conclude that a intersection b is equals to a you can say hence proved